Ah, it's okay, we can go. No, to run pass. Yeah? You wanna get out? No, no, no. This uh, mountain? This one? Yeah, this one is Torong La Pass. Torong La Pass. Torong La. Yeah, Torong La. Wow. We have some incredible views here. Namaste Nepal. Check this out. We are going deep into the villages in the Mustang area. And actually, our objective for today to visit a temple. What's the name of the temple? Muttanet. And it's a very famous temple actually and brings lots of tourism in the area too. Uh, it is a significant place for Hindu community as well as for Buddhism. So you see lots of uh, tourists who is following Hinduism. They travel from India and other countries coming to visit this temple. And we are on the journey to the same direction. We're gonna see what to, what's expecting us there. But the views on the road is just beautiful. Check this out. Mountain views. And we're actually on the way back gonna take another road to go backwards. And for today we actually have a jeep, so we are not going in a small car, a jeep because it's going to be a little bit harder to travel around in the mountains with a small car. That's why this uh, gentleman is taking me around. Brother, what's uh, your name? Ayub. Ayub? Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting name, Ayub. Ayub. Ah, nice, nice. But it's not, is it Nepali name? Like Ayub or Ayub? Ayub. A-Y-U-P. Ayub, wow, that's a nice name. And my name is Davut. Nice to meet you. Davut. Davut. Or David. David. Uh, yes, David Beckham. <laughs> yeah, your brother name. All right, nice. So we are passing through this garden areas. These are all apple trees. All right. So these are all apple uh, trees. And uh, is this what's the name of the village right now? Kinga, ah, we can see here, it says Kinga village. Some people also travel with bikes, which is one of the most enjoyable ways to do this tour. But uh, I chose to stay in Jomsom uh, as a base and then afterwards I travel to different villages and different places with, uh, with the car, private car. Wow, these views are... Namaste! Just arrived to Jarkot village and actually trekkers also can go through here through the village this village looks beautiful and very old look at these views behind is the mountains and in front of us we can see the old buildings and I believe this is gonna be monastery or maybe another one on a distance and it's so interesting they are using this heating system basically with the sun they can actually boil the water and make a tea too Namaste if I see any other technology close by I'm gonna show you in detail so they are basically using the sun to make a hot water and the gentleman is working here building up stuff Namaste So, gonna wander around to see what we find. Namaste! Namaste, guys! There's a little tea coffee shop here. It's called a German bakery. In all of these uh, small villages in the mountains, 
all the tea houses has name German bakery. I know why is it specifically German bakery? If you know the answer, please let me know. Otherwise, why is it not called French bakery? Because that makes more sense to me. And we are above 3000 meters attitude right now. And I think three, 3200 and I'm out of breath. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is the, this is the heating system, which I was talking about. You can see here. Uh, there is actually another one. Let's go check it out. New Hotel Plaza restaurant. This is uh, some coffee shop, snack shop, probably homestay too. This is uh, what I was talking about. Not sure. Namaste. Can I see this uh, heating system? I can see this. Please, thank you. <laughs> So you are using the sun, no? Yeah. And you are cooking here too? Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. So they basically just direct it to the sun direction and then it collects the heat and then probably heating up from the below and the water gets boiled, food gets cooked. This uh, technology is quite amazing. So simple but it does function and you don't need electricity, you don't need fuel to heat up stuff. And they have a field here and we have the beautiful views to the mountains and here the, we can see the peaks, a few of them here and one of them there. And we also have a temple right here, so we're gonna go through here. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Very kind, he let me wander around in his property. Ah, oh, beautiful villages. Jomsom is nice, but it's very commercialized, so much dust. There's an airport, there's lots of hotels. But once you come to the deep villages, then you understand what the real Nepal is about. This is the exact summary of uh, Nepal. Buddhism temples, Buddhist flags, massive mountains, you can see the scenery, you can stay in the guest houses, you can get a tea coffee, meanwhile you are trekking. Uh, quite an incredible experience to be here and I'm so happy I made the decision to come to Mustang area. And uh, I actually took the advice of my followers. They were always telling me I have to go to Mustang area and I got the chance and I'm here and enjoying it so much. Never missed the chance to rotate these things guys. Woo. How beautiful. There's also some new modern buildings there. We have another view to the temple right now which we just passed by. And we're gonna head straight to meet the gentleman, my driver is waiting me on the other side. And has a heating system. So I think when they are not using it, they're rotating it backwards. So energy doesn't get collected. It doesn't heat up basically. These are all river stone buildings standing here for centuries. Oh, we have a uh, blossom. How cool is this? It looks beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> These trees are blossoming. Wow. Someone's garden. I have to definitely take a picture here, guys. So, you need to hold on with me for a few seconds. So you can see my picture taking skills too because I have a mountains on a distance and blossom trees which looks beautiful and some flies are on my ears I'm gonna do 
a few more video shots. Beautiful, I have it I think. Some nice shots to the mountains. Alright guys, time to continue our journey. I'm not sure where exactly my driver is gonna wait for me. But I'm assuming we go down. And the road is there, so it's gonna connect us somewhere there. Ah, namaste! How are you guys? Good? <laughs> uh, I give you a, I give you chocolate but where do I throw them to them where is the ho home home where is the door <laughs> okay I have a chocolate for them but it's uh, too high and I'm afraid if I throw it they're gonna fall or something so no risk bye bye namaste bye bye but they are so cute I wish I knew where is the door I could go there to give them the some cookies which I have it in my backpack but while I'm wandering around in the villages I make sure I do that ah we have a little house here so maybe we give it to them namaste those kids maybe will come too let me see Uh, I have uh, cookies for the baby, please, thank you. <laughs> Look what I have. <laughs> namaste, namaste. <laughs> cookie, cookie, cookie. Here you go, you get two of them. Nice. <laughs> thank you, namaste, bye bye. Wow, beautiful. We got at least one kid happy. And... Uh, I think we need to proceed further to get my taxi then our uh, main journey is actually to the temple so that's where we are heading and I'm walking through this small path which eventually will take us to the main road or which I am hoping for at least yeah it goes up actually so we're in the right direction Namaste again. We just arrived to the next village, Muktinath. And we are actually on the way to Muktinath temple. As I mentioned before, it's one of the holy places uh, in Nepal and has a big significance for Hinduism and for the Buddhism too. And we need to pass through this village, which is kind of touristy at the moment since the temple is located in this area. So you can find uh, guest houses and uh, little shops where you can do shopping and they are still building up new places here so temple gonna be up there and we're gonna, gonna take around 30-40 minutes to arrive there and some people are actually using the horses I mean if you are old and if you are not able to climb that's a cool idea and as a job for the locals to make money and uh, there is actually there is actually 108 Divya Desams in Hinduism and it's the only Divya Desam which is located outside India. So there's 108 of them and one of them is actually in, in Nepal, outside India. That's the reason you find lots of uh, Indian people are traveling here to see to this uh, important place for the Hinduism. But uh, it's not only just about Hinduism but it's also significant planes for the Buddhists too so Buddhist people also travel here to visit that temple the views are beautiful the weather looks nice it's quite sunny and uh, I think this temple is gonna be the highest attitude I have been in Nepal it's gonna be 3800 meters high 3800 meters high 
which is a quite a high attitude. We're gonna get out of breath for sure and uh, hopefully we don't get sick or anything. So far walking on a straight line is totally fine but uh, climbing the stairs there gonna be very challenging and probably I will not be filming because I will be breathing like breathing like really hard. And this is the little shops I was talking about. You can get uh, probably some religious items, also some scarves and stuff like that, which we're gonna do actually on the way back. I would love to buy something from here as a memory. Look at this beautiful colors and uh, probably different qualities and looks very colorful, very, very nice. Uh, yesterday when I was shopping, for a small scarf the the sales lady she was saying that the mountains colors are very boring right it's like uh, there's not much colors you can see there's no flowers there's no much trees namaste namaste how are you <laughs> be careful so the mountains doesn't have so much colors so namaste hi 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 <laughs> namaskar <laughs> Oh, everyone is waving to the camera So what I was trying to say the Mountains doesn't have so many colors. So that's why people actually start dressing much colorfully and that's why they make the scarves More colorful to add more colors to their lives All right, here we are The stairs challenge is starting right here Gonna be a tough journey But we have to make it happen and I am uh, very very happy to make this vlog because I know that there are hundreds and millions of people that will never be able to get the chance to visit here so you can actually you have the chance to look at it visually through YouTube and other channels so anyone has a chance of course they are very very lucky but uh, not everyone is in a situation to spend money to travel and as a country and to the mountains to come to visit this temple. This is the entrance. It says, welcome to Muktinath temple. And uh, there's a black stone, which uh, I see people are praying. You can see they're touching on it too. So, what they do basically, touch on it, and put down their face. There's a lady sitting there, gentleman's smoking something. Namaste. Namaste. Ah, seems like it's uh, separated. Right is coming, left is going up. That's uh, very nice. I'm glad that been uh, well organized. The stairs looks uh, very comfortable to climb. They are not too big, obviously. Old people also come here, so it's supposed to be easier process for them to go up. Namaskar! Namaste! Some people taking a break here, sitting on the edge. Beautiful! Snowy mountains on the right, in the front. And we're gonna make our way to the temple. All right, see you later guys from Mustang area. I'm gonna show you the temple once we arrive. Bye bye. We are almost 3,800 meters high as attitude and I took my breath, took a little bit rest because I was really out of breath. It's, uh, it's really tough and I can imagine how tough is it uh, for the older generation. So that's why you have to take your time when you are coming to such a high attitude to stay in a different cities, go gradually, not like fast uh, to all the way to the top because you can get uh, attitude sick. We have a helicopter pad right here too. I'm sure uh, there are some important people arrive here or in case someone gets sick, the emergency situations, they can pick you up from here. 
which is very nice. Uh, first impressions, it looks nice and clean. Uh, we haven't still entered to the temple itself, but uh, it's gonna be in a few seconds here. Uh, these are items uh, for, for Buddhism, and I never missed the chance to rotate them. Ah, we have apple. And some more rice. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Please don't ride. Do not ride on the walls. Alright. That's a huge one. Ah. Kids gonna rotate it. Thank you. Wow, look at this baby. Hi. Yeah, he wants to get up to the other side. But I'm sure uh, they have parents, parents around. Alright, we're gonna take our stairs all the way up. We still have more stairs to go. Uh, there's a more greenery. I think these are human planted trees to make the place a little bit more green and more nice. Stairs are continuing. I can see the Buddha uh, statue on the right side, and probably Hinduism part gonna be just in front of us. Mountain life, it's really, really different here. Even the temples feels different in the mountains than when you have a very easy access in the cities, you can just go visit without putting any effort. But to come here, you need a 10 to 12 hour if you come straight. But if you are not coming straight, then uh, you need at least one, two days to travel gradually to arrive to the spot. Because the roads are really tough and uh, also the attitude is uh, challenging for, for many, many people. We have a pagoda style temple right here. And I'm uh, assuming the main part of the temple going to be just in front of us. We have the view to the Buddha statue on the other end. So I'm assuming this is a Buddhist area and then on the left side gonna be the mainly Hinduism. Namaste. Namaskar. Do we supposed to ring this or it's not allowed? Ah, we have so many people here now. And there is also gonna be a bath place where people take a dip in the holy water. I'm not sure how much of that I can record, but I can show you at least from this area. People taking their shoes and getting half naked to get into the water on the left side. I'm assuming the water is very cold. Or maybe it's a hot spring, I don't know. Brother, is this hot spring or cold water? Cold. Cold water. Freezing mountain water. Dolamebar Gomba. This is the Buddhism area. Let's go check that out. And after we're gonna proceed further to upstairs. Gonna be a tough journey. Let's see our Buddha, Buddhist uh, part and the Buddha statue. You can see the Buddhism flags on a distance. Looks beautiful. And uh, one of the things Buddhist temples are known for, they are always on top of something. So whenever you visit the city, you can always find the Buddhist temples and Buddha statue on top of the highest point in the village, in the town, in the city. It's uh, similar with uh, Pokhara city, Kathmandu, and uh, also in Sri Lanka, you can see lots of uh, 
Buddhist temples on top of the hills and it makes it very tough to get there Woo. look at this beauty we have a uh, nice views and I think we're gonna have even better views to the mountains and then from there we can look at the the temple itself it's very nice it's well organized you can put your luggages here sit down relax check out the magnificent views to the mountains that's uh, where we started the clip from that's the village downstairs that's where your car car gets parked there and you have to walk all the way up here and this is our view to Buddha statue how beautiful and a massive mountain in the background and we have a doggy sleeping here all right I see the temple is on the left side so we're gonna go explore that check out what we can see what we can find and then afterwards we're gonna slowly proceed further downstairs do some shopping down get some tea possibly from the touristic spots and yeah and uh, I forgot to mention I have my uh, Dhaka topi as well Dhaka topi is a traditional topi from Nepal which I purchased from Kathmandu from the honest man and yeah Namaste, Namaste. how are you guys good? Very good working very hard yeah, yeah. nice I am from Azerbaijan do you know Turkey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm next to Turkey. Yes, yeah. it's a brother country. Are you only, only one? I am a solo traveler, explorer. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm wandering around. Where you take these rocks? Uh, up the, your, your side. Are uh, you building something? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Good luck, guys. No, Thank no, you very no, much. No, Have a great day. No, Thank no. you. Ah, the gentleman had a uh, good English. Ah, wait a second. I might, uh, I might have, I might do something actually. My brother, do you have a mobile phone? Yeah. Yeah. Can I see? Do you have a mobile phone too? Brother, you have mobile phone? Yeah, oh. yeah. No, no, you. You don't have. You don't have, or you don't have it here. Yeah, You, you don't have mobile phone at all. Yeah. You don't have SIM card, no phone. No phone, I have. Okay. So you travel, work without phone? Not, I'm only walking. Walking, only working? Yeah. You don't have mobile phone? Yes. And have you? Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, the gentleman has, okay. Yeah. Very nice. All right, I just wanted to see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, you, you have phone or no? Uh, no, I have. No mobile phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. very. Where is uh, your channel name? Uh, my what channel name is Davud. <laughs> ah, he's gonna get me a channel. All right. It's, uh, you have internet here, good. D A V U D. All right, it's this yeah. one, Davud Akunzada. Yeah. So you are not owning any mobile phone? Yeah, yes, I have no. So how do you call your family or something? Uh, not uh, my family is on here. Oh, here in the yeah. village. Yeah. Okay, but you never had a phone in your life. You yes, have... I am. I want to buy. I have no money to. Uh, oh, now. you don't have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When is uh, uh, my money? Too much and I buy you more money. All right, all right. Okay. So very nice, very okay. nice. Brother, um, I, have a, I have something for you. I have a, my phone, which I buy new phone, yeah. but I give you my old phone to you. Is okay? Okay. Yes? Okay. I have an iPhone for you. I give it to you. Okay. okay. Yeah? All right, let me see. Where is it? <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Yes. I'm yes? Happy. Look, uh, this is new phone. It's an Apple. Yeah, okay. And uh, it's called it's Apple XR, and okay, I use so I use this before, okay. but uh, I don't need it anymore. You have I, uh, lock it here? Uh, no, no, it's no. not locked. It's a new phone. Yeah, you yeah. just need to register an yeah. Apple ID, and it will work. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so it's much. It's for you, and no much, I give you also new charger. Okay. 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 Yes. Thank <laughs> you so much, sir. Thank you so, much. Thank you so much. Good luck. I'm Good luck so to happy. you. I'm so happy okay. too. I was okay. uh, because I buy new phone uh, okay. for me and okay. I wanted to give some to this to someone okay. and I find you in the temple yeah, in a yeah, holy yeah. place. Okay, sir. 
Very glad. What's your name? My name is Ranbir Vikhe. Ranbir. Okay. Vikhe. Very nice to meet you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the best. Have a Rather great day. So, uh, find maybe go to mobile shop. They can open Apple ID for you. Okay. You okay. can download WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube. Okay, Everything okay. works. Okay. You can take. I have follow you. Follow thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank okay. you so much. You can thank take also okay, good okay, photos. So good photos for okay. your family. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> wow. All right. We found the perfect person to give this to so I, I bought a new phone and uh, I have still perfectly functioning phone but I bought a new phone for a better camera and I just gave the iPhone XR to him and the gentleman didn't have any phone and he's really living in the village here but has a great English actually so very very happy to find someone in a holy place like here and uh, give a little present for him so yeah Beautiful, we just arrived again to this uh, pool area. We have to be a little bit more careful not to uh, film everyone. Probably people will get a little uncomfortable. So I'm gonna show you from the far, then I'm gonna stop recording until we get to the temple itself actually, all right? So I think that's the best way to approach it. As you can see, people are here taking a uh, ah, namaste, namaste, namaste. They are so half naked doing the rituals and going into the water so I'm not gonna film them just for the privacy guys so we're gonna stop right here and I will see you in the temple this beautiful door which welcomes us and I'm gonna show you the artwork of it which looks beautiful the golden colors and there's actually dragon right here there's actually two of them, one left, one right, and the colors and the artwork looks beautiful. Here we are. I think he's doing some rituals at the moment and it's supposed to be the main part of the temple again incredible views to the mountains everywhere is clean and nicely kept and ah, they have also heating system here yeah I can go inside here all right I have to go how many times a tree is good three is good okay all right I will do that thank you and I have to rotate it as well, no? Yes, yes. All right. Clockwise. Beautiful. Clockwise. Ah, this is what makes the noise. It types here and then makes the noise. So we have to go three times around. Oh, it's really fast, actually. That's a one. It's really fast. <laughs> Two. And we're going to do one more. Oh, my head is turning around. Probably yours too, guys. Ooh. Very nice. It's a beautiful design and also you can see how that makes a noise on the top every time it rotates. There's a lamp offering room right here. Uh, we might just have a look from here. So you can light up the lamp and leave it here in a safe environment. Looks beautiful. And this is the another part of the Buddhist temple. And we have also this heater system, which I have seen already in the another village. They put the, whatever they have, they can cook here, they can make actually tea, so they can warm up the water as well. Wow, it's beautiful. I, I'm always inspired by the artwork of these temples, how amazing it looks. Like all the attention to detail is just incredible. So we have to take off our shoes before we enter to the temple area. All right, let's do it. Since we are here, let's uh, take our shoes off and go for a eye pleasure. To see how beautiful is this place. 
Wow. Colors, everything looks beautiful. This is amazing. And on the wall, you can see all the statues here. It's the same, but many of them on the whole wall actually it's covered. And the ceiling, this allows more light to come from the windows. And I'm guessing this is part of a rituals too right I'm supposing we have to go through the sides not the front because gentlemen prayed in the middle and walked by the side and then leaving from the other side so we are doing the same not to go from the middle beautiful beautiful i love this artwork and this thing should be so old all right we're gonna leave slowly and you can see more artwork on the walls here So beautiful. Nice. Our exploration in the Buddhist part is over. So what you have seen on uh, downstairs where everyone was taking a bath, that's the main part of the Hindu temples and Hindu area. So Buddhism part has the higher parts, this one and the other part where it was the Buddhist, um, uh, Buddhist statue. Beautiful. Namaste. All right, we're gonna leave slowly. Been a very nice experience to be here. Enjoy the views. I'm gonna take my time to go down, take some pictures, and enjoy the views here. Yeah. So this uh, temple you see, which looks like a pagoda style, that's the main part of the Hindu temple. And behind me where we come from is the Buddhist part. Incredible. It's uh, so lovely to see that uh, how two religions are actually mixing uh, together. Without any conflict, people come. If you are Buddhist, you go do your prayers upstairs. If you are Hindu, you do your prayers here and go, go for a dip as well. Yeah, such an incredible place and very spiritual for sure. So I'm very, very happy that I got a chance to see it, actually experience it and most importantly have the chance to share it with you guys. I'm gonna sign out from here and I will make more videos from the villages which we're gonna go visit on the way back. So, see you later guys. Thank you so much for watching. We are still here in Muktinath village and it's a very tourist area actually because of the temple just behind me so this town gets lots of visitors all around the year and I want to do a little shopping we might buy some scarf or we might buy something even more unique something like this even would be beautiful to have I'm not sure how much these things cost not sure if they have my size, but we can try out. Is the shop owner is not here? There's a different materials here too. So let's ask. Namaste, brother. Do you have a big size for me like this? The, that shop. Okay, I go check it out. Namaste. 
Hello, namaste. Do you have uh, this? Banju. It's called banju? Yeah. Uh, do you have banju big size? Banju. Banju. Banju? Banju. 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 Okay. Big size? Yeah, what's the biggest size you have? Your size then? My size, XL, 2XL. <coughs> or maybe L is good too. What are the prices for banju? You pass and try. And then after? Okay, after. Okay. If it's my size, price go up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You first and try this on big size. All right. I need to Check. dress off. You come here. Uh, it's uh, too dark. I think I will be here. Should I take this off too or sure. above this? This one after you try it. Enough. Yeah, without. Yeah. Okay. Would you mind hold my camera? Thank you. <laughs> So what's your name? What's country? My name is Davud and I'm from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Yes. My topi gonna take off. So what's <clears> the normal price? This is no expensive. No expensive. You first in train. No expensive for me, no expensive for you. No expensive for you. For me. Okay. Yeah. So this is the color you have? Do you have yeah. different color too? <clears throat> yeah. Where is the beginning of this? Right. Oh this one. Something like this. Yeah. And then my arms. There's no this arms. Better. No arms. This one size. So there's no arms. I cannot bring out my arms. It go. It go no, over the shoulder. No, only this one. Ah, all right. Thank you. This one matching any you color. Matching with my daka topi. Daka topi and you also this. Oh, thank you. So this is how I look. <laughs> so how much is the price? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. What? $2,500. Dollars? <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, what's, uh, do you give me a better price? We can do 2000 deal? This is a normal price. 2000 Send them 4000 4, Alright, 2000 deal? <laughs> yes? 2200 okay? Okay. You can take uh, 2500 Okay. Thank you. So, do you have a different color or it's the only this one? Is a nice and what's color. the material of this? <laughs> Yagul. Yak. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yak wool. You made it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like 100 percent. You made 100%. it here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Then uh, if you really, money? if you really made it, yeah. you promise you made it? Yeah. Up season is making and season is a sell. Once more. Here, off season is making. Off season you are making this yeah. and, and on season you are selling. Sell. You made this with your hands. Yeah. Okay. I, I believe you. This one and this one. I believe you and you you keep the money. Thank you. You change no money. No, no, you keep it. You keep it. Three thousand is okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, I need to uh, put uh, my this one to there. I'm gonna yeah. walk around with this. No, I look like real Nepali. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you look like the Nepali. Thank you very much. Oh, you can... like Nepali? I love Nepal. This is my uh, second time here. Mm -hmm. I travel uh, second time, and this time in the mountains. I have. Some cookies for you too. Thank you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> You've been uh, very kind to me. And no, no, it's okay. I'm used to this. Okay. I need a short hand. Do you have a short hand? Short hand? Yeah. I have two hands. Yeah. I need one more hand. <laughs> <laughs> then I can fill him and do everything. Okay. But wait, how am I going to put my uh, backpack? My arms will be locked. Ah, not too oh, bad. Nice. It's fine. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good luck. And what was your name? Dolma. Dolma. Ah. Dolma in my language is a food. Yeah. It's oh. a yeah, it's a special food from my country. It's a dolma. <laughs> nice Thank to meet you. you. Bye-bye. See you guys. I forgot the name. What's the name of this? Ponju. Ponju. Nepali Ponju. Nepali Ponju. Thank you. Dakatopi Ponju. Nice. Thank you. All right. We have a Dakatopi, we have a Nepali Ponju too, which looks nice actually. I do trust that uh, she's making it herself. I'm sure it's made in the mountains. And uh, 2500 is a little expensive price, but well deserved. She's been uh, super kind, so she can keep the rest. I'm gonna go a little bit more down to see what else we find here and uh, possibly to get something to drink because I'm really thirsty and here you can also find lots of uh, 
touristic items as well bracelets and also religious items I believe so it's super cool I don't see any uh, tea place right there but we might just go backwards and see where we can find tea maybe this restaurant slash bar does have some tea for us and let's test it out Milan Chok. Namaste. Namaste. Do you have a tea? No tea. No tea. You have a soup? What are you drinking? No. Chamin? No, no. No, no. no food. No food. No food. No. Close. Restaurant closed. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, no food. Then uh, my driver is here. Let me find him. Then we're gonna go. Maybe let's ask them where I can eat something or drink something. Maybe one of these hotels here. Ah, there's a hotel on the top. Is where I can get the chia? Chia coffee. coffee. Yeah, coffee. yeah, where I can find the shop. Okay, I check it. Thank you. I think uh, we're gonna go further. That place should have something for us to eat or have a quick snack possibly roti, tarkari, fried momo oh fried momo I never tried that in my life that might be exciting namaste namaste do you have a chia? Ah, ah, namaste. namaste namaste how are you boss? Ah, tick -tick. do you have a chia? yeah would love to have one chia with sugar please make tea or black? Uh, black tea but black. with sugar uh -huh, okay do you have a fried momo? Yeah, vegetable. Vegetable fried momo. Uh -huh. Okay, can I have one portion please too? Okay. Alright, how long did that take? How much time? Ten minutes. Ten minutes, perfect. I wait. Thank you very much. Momo and the tea please. Okay. Thank you. Ah, this is a nice place to sit. Ah, there's also a sitting area. Oh, there's also a nice area to sit and chill, relax, get some water and wait for your food to come. Beautiful. We're gonna take a rest here, guys. And I'm gonna try my first ever fried momo, which I never seen, but I discovered right here in the village. So you have to try this out. See you in a while. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. So it's a uh, normal momos. You just fry it, right? Instead of uh, with steam, steam. Steam and fry. Ah, first steam and uh, afterwards after you fry them. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Well, fried is not cooked. Huh? Well, most people well cook. Yes, it's, it's best first, cooked. First is steam. Uh -huh. After fried is. Ah, uh, if you fry it, it wouldn't be good. Yeah. First steam and after you fry it. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Much better. Beautiful. We have the fried momos, which I'm going to try actually for the first time in my life. And this is how they look like. First, basically, they are steaming it like a normal momo. And then afterwards, they put it in the oil and then fried it out. And it comes out just like this. We have also sweet black tea. Looks great and also tastes amazing. I also got a little Fanta here because Fanta or Coca-Cola is actually a great option with uh with the momos all right time for us uh to test it out and see how that tastes like you want to sit there you can come and sit with me if you want okay you can eat first yeah okay <laughs> no no you can come sit no problem where, where came from today huh where came from today uh, i came back i uh, came from uh, johnson Dumsum. yes 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 i was in johnson mm -hmm. i stayed there uh three nights Dumsum? yeah uh -huh. and then tomorrow i'm leaving slowly but today we're gonna do a village exploration with the jeep. Zip? Yes. Uh -huh. Where? Uh, to the next town. John? John? John. John. Uh -huh. Yeah, going to John next. Uh -huh. Car? With car? Yeah, with the car, with the jeep. Uh -huh. Yes. Please, brother, you can come sit in front of me, not behind. <laughs> okay, please. Okay, because after you. Yeah, all right. Because I feel bad you are behind me. Yes, okay, after <laughs> please you. sit here in front of me. All right. Let's go. Fried momos, guys. We're gonna. This is how it looks like from outside. Looks very crispy, a little yeah. oily, and uh, it's a vegetable momo, right? Yeah, vegetable momo. We're gonna put a, on a sauce as always and go for a bite. 
Mm, so good. So it's the basic inside mama. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing different than a yeah. normal mama. Yeah. Vegetable mama inside looks fresh and uh, super soft, and outside is crispy. It's a uh, normally it's for one bite, but I wanted to show you guys, so I took two bites. Is your car? No, no. Uh, it's behind the hotel. Wait. I am with the driver. You are also driver? No, no, no. Modern, no, I have driver. Uh -huh. I'm not alone. All right. One more uh, momo uh -huh. test out. Uh -huh. This is really good. Uh -huh. I like a buffalo momo, uh -huh. but the fried momo is go also good. Do you do buffalo or chicken Why fried chicken? momo? Chicken. You, you like do? chicken? Yeah, I like chicken. You do chicken yeah. fried momo? Yeah. yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Same concept. Okay. All right. No, no, I don't want. No, no, this is enough for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. If I'm you like, we make it. I'm just asking. Uh -huh. It's possible. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's so possible. chicken yes. is also possible. Fried yeah. momo. Yeah. We do. We don't use the both. No. We have chicken and vegetables. Is it because um, religious reasons or why there's no buffalo here? You yeah, don't eat before. Not before the year, but meat is eating the pokhara, somebody like it's bean is not, not good. Eh? Okay. I don't use. So you only use chicken here uh, and veggies, veggies and yeah. and any other. Do you eat goat? Goat. Goat. Not god, yeah. goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sheep. Sheep. You eat sheep, you eat goat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever make a momo with sheep meat? Yeah. Yeah. Or lamb? Yeah. Yeah? You make it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be amazing yeah. because in my country we eat lots of lamb, uh -huh. beef sometimes, chicken yes, uh -huh. but uh, lamb is the most important yeah. in our kitchen. Uh -huh. But I never tried lamb momo. I think that would be very delicious uh -huh. and very oily and uh -huh. uh, very soft to eat. Yeah, yeah, it's very oily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, one more bite, then uh, I'm gonna finish my food, guys. Without you. Okay, you eat. You need to. Because no, no. Like some, this is. Uh, ah, this is a uh, ketchup. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you like. Mm. It's hot. If you. No, I don't like ketchup. <laughs> okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay. I come downstairs and pay. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you. Beautiful. It's um, one of the best versions of Mama I ate, fried with the veggies. Very good, and the presentation was very nice, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy the views. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying my mountain life here in and traditional dressed up in nepali things enjoying the mountains having a traditional nepali food yeah i can call myself nepali right now topi these mountains and uh, i got a blessing on my head i have momo i have a tea what else what else you need guys anyway i'm gonna see you later I'm glad I didn't order something else extra. That was really very good food and very fulfilling too. So I'm super full. Now we are going to pay and then leave the gentleman. Brother, I'm ready. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, it was great. What did this this is means? Internet. Uh, before is not, uh, not everything, but before this is, this is 25 years ago. 25 years ago? You had the internet here? Yeah. 25 years ago you had internet? Yeah. Here? Yeah, wow. Internet room. Ah, so you had uh, like uh, internet with the cables? Yeah. The, the with cable. the cables. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and big, the big, 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 uh, big, uh, big um, these, computers, no? These also. Huh? Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Should be very hard. Uh -huh. Yeah, very nice. Uh, so, how much uh, is the total? Thank you. You you made the momo? Yeah, yeah. She made the momo. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> momo, coke, tea. Yeah, one tea, one uh, Fanta, and momo, momo, fried momo. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Here you go. There's a one thousand here. The rest is for you, and also cookies for you and for the for the wife, right? Thank, thank you very All right. much. Right. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Thank okay, you so much luck. for your time and uh, it was very good food. Okay, I've been mean, nice to All you. the best. Nice okay, to meet you. Okay, you are asking that somebody take it. Well, we, have, we have also room. Ah, you have also rooms. Yes. All right. So guys, the name of the hotel is Lali Gurash. Yeah.
Beautiful. They can find it on Google for sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Namaste. Bye -bye. Thank okay, you. Namaste. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow. Beautiful people in the mountains and great food, of course. It was a nice experience here to try something new. And now time for me is to move to the new village. And uh, before we go back to Jomsom, we're gonna stop by an actually different village and I'm gonna make more videos from there. So for now, I'm signing out and uh, leaving you with this beautiful views through the village to the mountains, guys. All the best.